Okay, so again, welcome. My name is Sarah Mikulski. This is the virtual ESL open house. We are um, excited to have you today uh, joining us. And here is what we will be talking about today. Um, we'll start with an overview of the ESL department at Harper. Then Kathy Zuhl will give a tour of a sample online anytime class. She'll explain what that is. Then Kathleen will give a sample online live uh, class. So you'll experience what it's like to do online ESL learning at Harper. Uh, we'll, end, we'll conclude with a discussion of how to register for ESL classes, and we will save time for questions and answers. So that is our plan or our agenda for the next hour. So let's start by talking a little bit about our ESL department. In the spring semester, as you may or may not know, Harper is planning to offer all ESL classes online again. In this presentation, any blue words are hyperlinks. That means if you click on them, you can go online to the website for more information. We will make this presentation available so you can use this presentation to access more information later. So since our classes will all be online, you can actually take classes from anywhere in the world. If you click on that link in our presentation, it will take you to more information about the nature of our online classes. Many of you probably saw this page to get to our meeting today. And if you scroll down, you would also see several videos that you can watch about our different types of classes, as well as find more information about our online classes. It's important to explain that our um, ESL and linguistics department at Harper College is an academic credit department. Our classes are credit ESL classes, so they are not free. You do get college credit for our classes, and the cost of the classes depends on where you live. Some financial assistance may be available, but we always want to explain this because some students have heard there are free ESL classes at Harper. It is true, there are some beginning level free classes, but those are not the academic ESL classes uh, that we offer in our department. So the, um, if you have questions at the end about this, feel free to ask us. Let me show you some more information. So if you had clicked on this blue link that says cost depends on where you live, you would see this information about tuition rates at Harper. So tuition is charged based on how many classes you take. And each class has a certain number of credits. Some of our classes are one, two, three, or four credits. Four is the maximum. Um, so if you live in the district, the price is cheaper per credit hour. In the district is near Harper, like Schaumburg, Hoffman Estates, Palatine, Arlington Heights, the nearby suburbs. If you live out of district, it's a little bit more per hour. And if you live out of the state, or out of the country, it is more per hour. However, there is financial aid available. As you can see um, on this website, which is also available in our presentation, um, there is a tuition relief program being offered and it is a new, um, I'll talk a little bit more about that. It's for um, new students, $500 for classes if you take six credits or, um, or more, so that's usually at least two classes, depending on how many credits they are. They are. There are also other scholarships available, and for um, some students, the women's program may be able to offer funding. So again, this um, page has more information, but I want to talk a little more about the tuition relief program. This program is um, uh, available. Uh, $500 per person, one time only for new students, but it's provided on a first come, first serve basis. What does that mean? Here's your first um, idiom lesson. First come, first serve means the first person who applies will have the advantage for the funding because there's only a limited amount of relief available. So if there's, you know, um, $2,000, that's four, uh, four relief amounts available. So the first four would get it. There's more than that, I promise, but <laughs> that's how it works. So if you are thinking of taking classes in the spring, I highly recommend that you apply to be a student if you haven't done that right away. Um, we will have a code for you that it will waive the $25 application fee. I will share that later in our presentation and towards the end. Um, and it's in this, um, 
presentation, we can email to you as well. And um, then apply on this page for the tuition relief. What you have to be already a, um, an applied student, so you must have a Harper ID number, and then you can apply for the tuition relief fund. And the sooner you do it, the better, so that you can get that $500. That's, that's great. That can pay for at least one whole class. All right. In addition to financial assistance, we have a lot of academic assistance or support available for ESL students at Harper. For example, we offer free one-on-one -on -one tutoring for our students. All of our tutors are current um, instructors. These are not um, Harper students working part-time jobs. So these are, oh, welcome anyone joining us. If you could just click mute while you're uh, joining us, it's a greatly appreciated. Um, so, we also offer advising. We have an ESL advisor. We have an ESL advisor, Leah Kang, who can meet with students to talk about either ESL classes or um, non-ESL classes if you are a higher level student. Um, we have uh, normally, when we are open, um, and on campus, we have a language lab for our students, but since that is not currently open, we do offer online language lab resources. That includes extra um, practice available through um, grammar programs and reading comprehension programs, and those are resources the college pays for and we make available to our students online. And in addition to these resources, we have an online international students club where students can join online and practice speaking their English together. This usually happens once a week on Thursdays. It's a great way to meet other ESL students and practice your English in a comfortable setting. Um, and in addition, we have a conversation partners program, which is one on one, where you would have um, it's optional, of course, but if you sign up, you would be given a partner who is um, a fluent speaker of English, and you would get to practice your English with that partner at times convenient for you. So these are some of the resources available for students who join our program. Now let's talk about our classes. We have two kinds of ESL courses, academic ESL, and I did mention we are an academic ESL program. And within this program, we also offer what we call the English series for professionals. And you can see in the middle, there's a little bit of overlaps, some of um, the classes are in both programs. So let's talk about them both now. Um, again, for everyone who is uh, joining um, a little late, just so you know, this is currently being recorded. It will be available later and the presentation will be available later. And thank you again for joining us. So our academic ESL courses at Harper are courses you take to prepare for taking college classes in English. So if you want to go on to get a degree in education, business, nursing, biology, um, our ESL program will prepare you to do the kinds of academic activities, reading, um, essay writing that you need to be successful. So we offer four levels of reading and writing, levels two through five. We offer two levels, and these are our classes available in the spring. It's slightly different than our normal schedule because of the pandemic and the college being closed. So, um, the college campus being closed to most students. It is open for some lab classes. Um, grammar review and communication skills are also um, a part of this program, but most of the students focus on reading and writing. And you can see the footnote there. It says students who complete reading five and writing five may take Harper's English 101 course. So those are the two highest level academic ESL classes there are. And once you finish those, then you're ready. You're ready for English 101, and we feel very confident about that. Um, our students do very well once they get to English 101 because they're prepared. Um, and that is a class that is often required for other courses, like Biology 101. Um, however, there are some classes you can take if you've gotten to Reading 4 or Writing 4 level, um, for example, in, in math, outside of the ESL department. In addition to our academic classes, we also offer the English series for professionals. We call this our ESP program. These are classes to improve your English skills for personal or professional reasons. In the spring, we're offering vocabulary, pronunciation. You see again, uh, the grammar review and communication skills. This fits into our academic program as well as the ESP program. And uh, our linguistics 225, language and health course, and guided lab. And you'll note that guided lab is the one on campus class. As I mentioned, there are some um, lab classes open um, on the campus. 
this will be available in the spring as long as it's safe for the college to offer it at that time. If you um, complete 10 credit hours, you can receive an ESP certificate. And if you're interested in more information and you get this presentation later, if you click on that blue link, you'll get more information about the ESP program. There are other classes um, that qualify for the certificate uh, that aren't in, uh, being offered in the spring, but will be offered in the summer or the fall as well. All right, so now we're going to talk about the two types of online classes. We've talked about the two kinds of, of classes in our department, um, and most of them are what we call online anytime classes. And to explain more about what that is and to give you a short tour, I'm now going to turn the presentation over to Kathy Zuo, who is um, who is one of our full-time faculty and this semester one of our co-chairs of the department. So just one moment while I... Um, all right, Kathy, you are now the presenter. I'm going to turn it over to you 